welcome back to Vision On. This is my third instalment of the video about the removal of panels. I've dealt with the uh, panel here, um, the lower um, front panel, and just a comment or two about the uh, this middle panel for the engine access. Uh, note that uh, the tab here is one that faces up. You've got to hook this in to the slot. Oh, you can't really see. Um, let's get a light on it. It's difficult to hold a light and a camera. Um, bear with me. Right, so we have um, that hooks in. So when you're removing this panel, you've got it comes out at the base first. You've undone these uh, two small uh, screws. Uh, here that secure this and there is a point to put a screwdriver in down here that little notch um, but I prefer to um, I did use a screwdriver very gently but I then had my hand in on the inner side down here to push it forward and to release it from the base first and then it will come out like that I'm going to lubricate the various tabs again there are all sorts of uh, tabs all the way around. I'm going to lubricate those with the red rubber grease. Um, I did that with replacing the, um, the front lower panel here and it went back really easily and uh, it also um, I had to get popping it out again and it came out so much more easily than uh, when I first had to do it. So I reckon that uh, keeping these tabs uh, greased and my preference is red rubber grease uh, it does make removal much, much easier. And I think when you've done it once, you'll then know how to do it again. Um, so, uh, so unless you're relying on the, the dealers to um, service the scooter all the time, um, then this is something it's worth knowing about. Bearing in mind, there's no Haynes manual or any kind of manual that I can find for um, you know working on the machine. A real shame. There we go. End of this video.